So it's that time of year, it's getting colder outside, and I was looking to get back out and shoot my black powder revolver. And as I was going through all of my gear, I was wondering, what would it cost somebody going into 2024 to get into this antiquated hobby? So I decided to break everything down by the essentials, the optionals, and the full DIY route if you're looking to cast your own round balls, make your own caps, cut your own wads, and whatnot. So let's jump right in and not waste any more time. And just as a disclaimer for YouTube, the revolver used in this video is completely unloaded and completely safe. Also, I have not discussed where to purchase any of these items, nor have I discussed how to take apart a revolver, how to clean it, how to disassemble it, how to alter how to do anything whatsoever. Everything is not found in any controlled environment. I hope this helps. I hope this does not violate any of your habits. All right, first of all, let's talk about the bare bone essentials. These are the absolute things that you need in order to fire the revolver at the range. Now, the first thing you're going to need is the revolver itself. And so for this example, I'm going to look at the 1851 Colt Navy replica by either Pieta or Uberti. You can, if you're looking to be really budget friendly in this, you can get a brass frame model from Pieta that might be about $50 cheaper. Uh, but I'm just going to go with the 1851 Colt Navy. So for that, currently the prices are going to be about $300 for a Pieta, and it's going to be about $340, $350 for a Uberti. Um, the prices on these have gone up about $50 over the last two, three years uh, for each brand, but that's what you're going to look for. So let's just stay with the cheapest option, which will be the $300 Pieta. Next, you're going to need powder, of course, and black powder, if you can find it, um, is going to be about $20 to $25 um, to get a one-pound jug of that. Go with GoX Powder uh, 3FG, and if you happen to order these online, you're going to be charged, I believe, a hazmat fee, which will be about $25. So you might pay $50 for one one-pound can. So if you're going to do that, in my opinion, you might as well max out your cart and get as much powder as you can to split that hazmat fee across all of the containers. Next, you're going to need caps. Now, the only ones I think you're going to be able to find, if you can find them, are going to be CCI number 11s, which have worked just fine for my cap and ball revolver experience. For further Remington number 10s, but beggars can't be choosers. For caps, if you can find them in a store, you're going to probably pay between $7 and $9, and if you're looking to get them online, it might be about $10 or $11. Once again, they might be charging a hazmat fee, so buy accordingly. Next, you are going to need some round balls to shoot out of the revolver, and these are going to cost you about $17 to get 100 round balls that are already cast for you. Before we factor in any of the taxes or the hazmat fees, you're going to be looking to spend about $345 just to get off of the ground here. If you include a hazmat fee and some taxes, I think we're going to be pushing the $400 mark. So if you're new to this sport, $400 is probably going to be the bare bones minimum that you need to spend in order to get a functioning black powder revolver. Next, we're gonna look at what I consider to be absolute essential upgrades. This is going to be what you need to disassemble your firearm so that you can clean it properly, to make it function properly so that you're not having cap jams all the time at the range, and to measure your powder correctly. Items on this list, I'm going to read from the list, so pardon me for looking down, are going to be a nipple wrench or a cone wrench for taking off the nipples or the cones from the cylinder. You're going to need a powder flask. You're going to need a spout that goes with that powder flask, which is pre-measured for however many grains you plan on shooting. You're going to need grease or lube to keep the cylinder spinning properly and the barrel lubricated. I can't recommend highly enough getting replacement cones or nipples for the cylinder to prevent uh, cap jams and to just make everything work so much better. I highly recommend getting a new trigger bolt spring because... The ones that come in Uberti and Pieta are cheap, and they will break from my experience. You're probably going to need to get some felt wads. I have not been using them lately myself. However, they are highly recommended. And finally, I haven't factored in the shipping or the tax with this, but we can take a look at what we have to work with now. So when I do the basic math on all of these items, with the nipple wrench costing about $10, powder flask $37, a spout $5, grease or lube about $15, replacement cones $40, a new trigger bolt spring would be seven. Wads would be about eight dollars for a hundred of them, and that comes out to about one hundred and twenty-two dollars. I'm going to factor in a six percent sales tax, which will bring us up to about one hundred and thirty, and then I'm going to guess that we'll have about thirty dollars worth of shipping. So we're looking at about a hundred and sixty dollars plus the four hundred that we already have takes us up to about five hundred and sixty dollars so far for just the bare essentials, and then the essentials to cleaning your gun afterwards and measuring the powder properly. Next, I wanted to look at what is optional, but what I assume you'll be getting after you get into this sport for just a little bit of time. The items on this list include a holster, an ultrasonic cleaner, a capper for putting caps on the cones or the nipples, and a paper cartridge kit. 
Now you can get some very cheap holsters for about $20 to $30. However, if you're looking for something nice that you would not mind displaying, then about $80 will be about the bare minimum for that. Ultrasonic cleaners have gone up about $10 in the last year, and they're now up to $100. But after you clean your revolver several times by hand, you will gladly take an ultrasonic cleaner to get the job done for you. Um, a capper is going to be about $15 to $16, and that just makes putting the caps on the cones or the nipples easier, uh, especially if you have bigger fingers and just a harder time putting them on there. And finally, a paper cartridge kit. If you're looking to make loading a lot faster in the field, uh, you'll have some pre-made paper cartridges ready, and that'll cost you about $50. So when I add up all of the things in this category, we're looking at $245 before taxes and before shipping. If we just tack on a 6% sales tax, we're looking at $260, plus I would assume $30 to $40 in shipping for all of these different orders, and that's going to take you up to about $300. So if we add up the totals from all three categories so far, we have $400 plus $160 plus $300. We're looking at $860 so far just to get into this hobby. And if you haven't spent enough yet and you're looking to get into the DIY route where you make your own round balls and you uh, make your own felt wads and your own grease and lube, let's see what the costs uh, for this will be. For this category, if you're looking to make your own felt wads, you're going to need beeswax, which is going to be about $15 for a pound. You'll need tallow or olive oil. I use olive oil because tallow is just way more expensive. Tallow is going to be $20 for a jar of that. Olive oil will be about $6 for a cheap bottle. You'll need thick felt to cut the wads out of, and that's going to cost you about $40 for a yard of that or whatnot. You're going to need punches as well um, to cut out the perfect circle, and that's going to cost you $8 for the cheapest option that I found. So to make your own felt wads, you're looking at $89 before you even factor in the shipping and taxes. To cast your own round balls, you're going to need a lead melting pot, which will now cost you about $100. It was only $70 a couple of years ago when I bought them. Inflation's crazy. You're going to need a lead dipper as well to get off all of the crusty stuff at the top of the lead that melts into it, and that's going to cost you $11. A round ball uh, casting mold is going to cost you about $37 to $40 now. They used to be about $25 two years ago. And finally, you'll need some pure soft lead, and that right now at this time is going to go at about $2.50 per pound. I have an article on my website that you can check out to see how many round balls you can make per pound of lead depending on what caliber you're using, and you can check that out at a link below. So when I add up all of the costs to go into the DIY category, we're looking at about $247. That's assuming you get four pounds of lead. And um, if we add tax on to that, we're up at about 262. And then if we tack on some shipping charges, let's just call it an even $300. So the grand total today, if I were to buy pretty much everything that I already own, would cost $1,160 after tax and after shipping. Yeah, I didn't realize that when I was getting into this, but it's fun. But wait, there's more. Buy now and we will send you some gunsmithing problems too. You see, when you get a black powder revolver from Pieta or from Uberti, you expect it to work right outside of the box. That has not been my experience from all three revolvers that I have purchased so far. I had to do gunsmithing on all of them. I'm not going to get into exactly what I did because I think that would violate YouTube's guidelines. So I'm just going to say the two tools that I found essential in helping me to get these to be safe revolvers were a drill press and a Dremel or little rotary tools, which you can get for about $50 and the drill press um would probably cost you about 120. again i'm not going to get into what i did but those tools without them i would have had a hard time getting these to be functional and safe at the range so i just added up the prices that i saw the, for the cheapest available and the cheapest for those two tools comes out to 142 dollars after shipping so drum roll the grand total for everything on this list is going to come out to 1302 dollars to give yourself the authentic black powder revolver experience. Stay safe out there, guys. Hope this helps.